Hey guys, welcome to another short tutorial. Today what I want to do is show you about the for each loop. Uh, I realized that I forgot to uh, finish up this destroy method here in the previous video, so this is a perfect opportunity for me to show you about this new loop. So the for each uh, loop is a new uh, way to do for loops in C++11. Uh, first let me show you the normal way to do it, and then I'll show you the way to do it with the for each, which is uh, much better. So what we need to do uh, is we need to loop through these two uh, uh, effect and music caches and actually free all of these mix chunks and mix musics. Because remember we loaded these uh, in the audio engine in our load sound effect and load music uh, function with these load muse uh, calls and load wave calls. But we never actually freed those. Calling mix quit will not uh, free those resources so we need to make sure that we manually do that. So the normal way to do it is, used to, is to use an iterator to iterate through each of these maps. So if, let's go ahead and iterate through the effect map. So we would say for, and we can say auto, uh, iterator uh, equals, we'll say m effect map dot begin. And then we'll say iterator is not equal to m effect map dot end. And I believe I may have actually showed this uh, in one of the videos, but it, it didn't get its own uh, video. So that's why uh, I wanted to make an episode about it. And we say it plus plus. So that's how you iterate a map. Uh, of course, you know that. And then since this is iterating through all of the mixed chunk iterators, uh, what we're going to do is call mix free chunk. And the chunk we are going to free is it arrow second. All right, so this is the old way to do it. This is using just a regular for loop. What we can do instead is we can use the C++11 for each syntax. And it basically does the exact same thing as this. Uh, but it's a lot more compact and easier to type. Uh, so instead of doing all of this stuff right here, we're going to delete that. And we're going to do uh, the first part similarly. We're going to say auto, but we're going to put an ampersand. This is going to make it a reference uh, iterator. We can call it it again. And then all we do now is we put a colon, and we put whatever collection that we want to iterate through. Now, what can we put here? Well, we can put vectors, we can put maps, we can put anything that has a defined begin and end method. As long as it has a begin and an end method, you can use this uh, syntax. In fact, if you make your own class and you give it a begin and end method that returns an iterator, you can even use the for each uh, iteration um, method, or uh, sorry, the for each iteration syntax on your collection. So we're going to iterate through um, m uh, effect map. And it's that simple. Look how much more compact this is. Now, since it's a reference uh, iterator, instead of doing arrow second, you do dot second here. That's the only difference. And that's all there is to it. This makes it a lot more compact, a lot more easier to type. I recommend using this syntax all the time. Uh, so let's also do the same for music map. And when we're doing music map, instead of free chunk, we say mix free music. And then there is one more uh, thing I forgot to call. It was mix close audio. So mix close audio is the opposite of mix open audio, which we called up in the init function right here. And then mix um, quit is the opposite of mix init that we called up here. And one thing that we can do uh, just to be safe, uh, since we have this m is initialized boolean here uh, that is true whenever we're initialized, what we can do is check here. If we're already initialized, if m is initialized, then we can do something like, um, uh, we can do a fatal error. Uh, try to initialize audio engine twice, just for safety. And then we can, well, we don't need to return because that's going to uh, destroy it. All right, so now let's go ahead and run it uh, just to be safe, even though it should work just fine. I don't think I screwed anything up. Uh, so yeah, definitely use the for each uh, over the regular iteration. Uh, it's a lot easier to read as well. Uh, it's not going to be any faster or anything like that, but it's just it's just a new syntax in C++11 that I really recommend that you guys use. All right, and it looked like it compiled, so we're good to go. Get some! All right, I'll see you next time, guys. One more thing before I forget. Pretty freaking important. Make sure you call m effect map dot clear and m music map dot clear uh, because even though we did free all of the uh, chunks and music uh, files, those uh, collections still have all of their elements. So we need to make sure that they uh, clear all their elements out. All right, thanks.